Welcome to North Seed TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for more videos. Want to come online and know that I dropped a message, and that's why I'm here this afternoon. There's a message burning in my spirit, and it's the importance of that name. The importance of that name, and what name are we talking about? The name of God. I'm going to have you consider yourself first. The importance. The importance of your name. How important is your name to you? So that you understand how important the name of God is to him. And the things the name is able to do. How important is your name to you? When you understand the importance of name, you will be able to look at God and understand the importance of God's name. You need to first of all consider um, in Yoruba, Yoruba, we say Urukorere, Oson, Juwura, Atifadaka. That his name is able to open doors when you consider what name is. That's why if you knock on the door, the first thing that the other person is going to say to you, the first thing the person in the house will say to you is, Who is that? Who is there? And then you are going to answer and say, It is me. And you have to actually mention what your name is. If your name is Bolatito, then you have to say, it is I for Lashade. It is name. Name is very, very important because it distinguishes you. And name is, 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 name is just what, what describes you. What, what explains who you are. And so the potency of your name determines how many doors you get to open in your life. The potency of your name determines how you are going to be welcomed in the place too. Your name is very powerful. No door is ever going to open to you if you do not mention your name. Except if the um, person on the inside is not conscious, is not security conscious or does not have, you, you know, there are people who don't, who just, who just speak anyhow, who just open doors anyhow. But for people who are guided and guarded, by the spirit of the living God, when you knock on the door, the first thing they say is, who is at the door? Praise the Lord. And so the name is what I am going to be discussing for a few weeks and the things that this name is able to do. My name is very important to me. And so I, I am very careful the things I do. And you know, name, name is also a tie to. You are called by your name. You are not called by any other thing. Your name, anywhere you go to, you are registered by your name. Very, very important. God needs to know your name. Praise the Lord. Very important. Sometimes you mention, you mention somebody's name and then, you know, they just, because you mention the name. Sometimes it could be your sore name. You see how important name is? It goes in even to our father's name, even to our mother's name. There are some registrations that you do the even have. Sorry. The importance of the name. Like I was saying, I said there are some registrations that um, there are registrations that you want to do and they are going to ask you for your mother's maiden name. They are going to ask you for every detail. They want to know because that name is very, very important in identifying who you are. So there's no way you are going to identify God if you don't know the name of God. And how powerful that name is. How powerful that name is. The name of God is very, very powerful. What is your name? What are you doing with your name? I, is your name able to open doors for you? Is your father's name able to open doors for you? And that is the question. That's, that's, that's where it comes to. That's where this question comes to play. Who are you? Who is your father? Praise the Lord. I have a father that will never ever fail. I have a father that has a very, very great reputation. A father that, that he has never since i was born and now i am getting old now i got married praise the lord i have never seen god disappoint on any level i'm talking about god that father is god almighty father who is king of kings and lord of lords el shaddai he is god he is god i'm talking about god god is very he, he cares about his name the name of God is everywhere on the street. But do you know that a lot of us don't actually know how to use this name? Because we just call him. We don't know if he's ever going to answer. Because we don't know that he takes this name 
very very personally we don't know that the name of god is not just any name it's not your father's name it's not the name of a president it's not the name of a governor it's not the name of of a monarch praise the lord a lot of us need that name some of us we want to travel out of the country we want to do certain things and then we begin to ask for um we, we begin to ask for letter of recommendation with the signature we would need the signature or the name of a monarch or, or, a, or, or, or a president or a governor or a local government chairman we start asking for names as a recommendation even if you go to court and you need to be granted a bail a name has to go the signature of someone very important has to go along with it so you know how very important a name is why do you not steal why why is it that you decide not to do some certain you decide not to do certain things why is it that when you see the name of a person written on a document you trust that document because you know who this person is and so people are valued and weighed by how they keep their name not even in the abundance of things they have. There are people with money who, who have not, nothing close to respect. There are people who have all the things of this world. That's why the scripture says that the life of a man does not consist in the abundance of the things which he possesses. And so I'm talking about how powerful name is. It is very, very important. And so God does not joke with his name. Everybody calls the name of God because it's quite popular. The name of God is extremely popular. It's everywhere. It's on the streets. It's in beer parlor. It's everywhere. Jesus Christ is in the mouth of Malians. The name is just everywhere. The name is quite popular. It's in clubhouses. It's everywhere. The name of God is not, uh, is not scarce. That's the funniest thing about this name. But the problem I have with, you know, how popular this name is is that people don't actually understand the importance of this name and they don't get to use it they don't get to use it you know they just they just look at that name as any other name and there's this song that says telling you about the things that the name of god does but i want you to see how god considers his name how he considers his name himself you know it's a different thing how you look at it some of us care about our name more than you do. We care about names differently. I care about my name a lot. Some of us have several names. As an evangelist, I know there are certain things I must not do because of that name. How important that name is. As a queen, I know there are things I cannot do because of that name. It's also a name. It's a title. And so we are very, very careful the things that we do with it. How does God perceive his name? What does he think about his name? That's what I'm going to talk about. How God thinks about his, what God thinks about his own name. Praise the Lord. What will God say if it's about the name of Jesus? If it's about his own name, what will he say about it? That's what I'm going to talk about this afternoon. The name of God. What would God say? What does it say? It says, therefore, in Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 25, it says, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, now I will restore the fortunes of Jacob and have mercy on the whole house of Israel, and I will be jealous for my name. Praise the Lord. It says, because of my name. So, God said he was going to restore the fortunes of Jacob because of his name so sometimes when god does a miracle in your life it's not because you are pure it's not because you praise better than the other person it's not because your attendance in church is more than the other person but because he cares about his name this is how god treats his own name it says for my name god is saying upon my name for my name's sake it says, I will restore the fortunes of Jacob. For the sake of the name of Jesus, for the sake of the name of God this afternoon, every fortune that you have lost will be restored back to you in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare that by the name of Jesus, in that name that is above every other name, everything that you have lost 
will be restored to you in Jesus' name. The name of Jesus will open any door. The name of God is potent. It will do anything if you concentrate on that name. Ancient of days. The lilies of the valley. The rose of Sharon. God who remains constant over the years. He has not lost any value. That name has remained the same. It's been the same. Demons tremble at the mention of this name. This name will open any door. No matter how ancient. It opens every door. So I'm talking about you looking at God. Looking at the name of God through his own eyes. What, God, what, what, is God, what does God think about this name? How will he react if you drag this name in the mud? How would God feel if you do not use this name? And it's just on every lips, in the streets, everywhere. How would God feel if Malians will mention this name more than Christians will? How is God feeling right now? Is God happy about the way his name is being used? Are some Christians not bastards? How are they using God's name? Will you say he's your father? If you would not use this name the way you should and the way you ought to use it. I want to see the name of God mentioned in places where miracles will happen. I want to see the name of God mentioned in ancient houses and ancient kingdoms and places where people would least expect this name to be mentioned. I want you to mention the name of Jesus, mention the name of God everywhere and in every situation you find yourself. And I want you to know one thing, that because of his name you will not be disgraced. Because your disgrace is the disgrace of God and God cannot be disgraced. God will not allow any dead to come to this name because of the name of God. A lot of us are in, you, you are in a place right now, you, you are thinking, is this how my life is going to end? No, it's not going to end as long as you are a true child of the kingdom. As long as you are a true son of the kingdom, I tell you that the Lord will fight your battles all by himself because he cares about his name. You are called by his name. It says, you that are called by the name of God. You are called by the name of God. Consider yourself a partaker of God's glory. Consider yourself a part of him. And know that God will not allow anything, any part of him to get displaced or broken. So you cannot be broken. Don't think it is your hand right now. Don't look at yourself alone. Son named by God. You are son named by God. It does not matter what your name is. You bear the mark of Christ. Because that name goes after your name. When they read your resume or they read um, your biography or anything, they are going to end up with and you are a Christian. Called and you are a child of God. Called by the name of God. And so will he allow his name to be dragged in the mud? Know where you take the name of God to. And know how you use it. That name of God. Cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. Know that the Lord cares so much about his name. He won't give you his name to carry anywhere and leave you there and dump you. That's not possible. When you should be grieving, you should be smiling. Because you know that God has you. Know that God has your back. Sometimes when we do stupid things as children, you know, our parents will cover up. Our parents will grant us bail. They'll bail us out. Bail us out because we carry their name. They are going to say, I don't want you to destroy my name. I've been building my reputation for years. So even when you are being silly and stupid, God is going to cover you. God is still going to carry you. 
God is still going to follow you. God is God will keep following you every now and then, knowing that my name, you carry my name. No. I cannot let you go down because you carry my name. So if you are at a point in your life where you are so scared of the walls that the enemy is building round about you, consider that the name of God, you carry this name, ever present name. That anywhere though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, everywhere you go, the name follows you. And if you are so afraid to open a door right now, maybe you are seeking admission or a contract or an appointment, if you trust in that name, I mean if you trust in it, apply the name and see what will happen. See if it will work or not. Sometimes you would mention the name. If you are not sure, it will not respond. Praise the Lord. If you are not sure, the name will not work. That's one thing about names. If you go to a place and they ask you, are you the son of so-so and so person? And you think twice before you say it. Oh, uh, uh, and you stutter. The person is going to die. Because there are some names, they are so powerful. So they have to keep confirming. Everybody wants to identify with certain names. You want to say you are the son of a great man that is well respected in the society. So if you get to a place where the door needs to be open to you, they are going to ask you. Are you sure? And they'll be looking at you. If you are sure, they want to know. And if you are not sure, the door will be shut against you. Not because you don't carry the name. Not because you are not truly. So sometimes when you pray and prayer is not answered. It is because you are not sure of the person you are praying to in the first place. And sometimes when you repeat yourself. If I mention my name once to you, I expect you to believe and understand but if I have to repeat myself over and over again, then you are not going to. If I have to keep repeating myself over and over again, oh, this is my name, this is my name, this is my name, then you are not going to appreciate that name. Then that door is never going to be open to me because you are going to look at me and say, are you sure? Praise the Lord. So the name I am talking about is the name of God. And that name anywhere and any situation you find yourself, mention that name. And be very sure. Look at that name. Concentrate on the name and say, I am sure about this name. This once and for all, this name is going to save me. Praise the Lord. So the name of God is powerful. It says for his name's sake, because he wants to defend his name. He is going to restore all that you have lost. That's what it says in the book of Ezekiel. Because of his name's sake. Not because of your name. Your name may not be able to carry that banner. But with the name of God, chains are broken, doors are open. So trust in that name. If you are on a sick bed right now, trust in that name. If the doctors are telling you it's the end of the road, trust in that name. That God is immortal. And if you carry the same DNA with God, you are not going to die. Trust in that name. You know that name. You know your father. More than any other person knows him. You know him. That person talking to you may not know. And so they are going to discourage you. The situation does not know. You are the only one who knows who you serve. And because you know the person you are serving... Keep on saying is your rock, your refuge, your stronghold, and you are going to hold on to him. And so when they expect you to cry, laugh and dance and say, I have a father who would never ever fail me. And that Jesus is that father. I will hold on and we keep standing upon that rock. That name gives you confidence. That name brings rest and peace to you. When you understand that name and you understand how to use the name and you focus on using the name, it brings you peace and joy. Peace and joy. Because when there is so much turbulence all around you and you know who you are and what you are, ah, you are going to rest on that name. You will stand upon what that name has promised you. 
He, he regards his name more than anything. You are the one who doesn't trust in it. If you believe in your own name, that if you get to your father's house, the door will be open, your earthly father. That if you get there even at midnight, that the door will be open to you. Great. So why is it that you cannot trust God to open every door that is shut against you? Why is it that you cannot trust God? Sometimes we talk and we say some people are above, uh, are above the law. Praise the Lord. Because of their name, we think they are. But we are talking about God who makes the law himself. And so when the enemy comes at you, telling you that there is no way, concentrate on God and focus on him and tell the enemy that I have a way. God is that way. The scripture says Jesus the way, the truth and the life. No one comments to the Father except by him and we trust him and you hold on to him. Let the word continue. What your neighbor says last night is not going to change what God thinks about you as long as you know how to apply the name of God. The name is very available to everyone. Application is the only problem we have. We do not apply that name when we are sad. We do not apply the name when we are happy. We do not use this name at all. We just call the name. You need to start applying the name of God, applying His name, trusting in that name, walking in the consciousness of that name, everywhere be a shining light, even in darkness be a shining light, mentioning the name of God, trusting in the ability of that name, the supernatural power of that name. Keep trusting God. Keep looking at Him. Keep looking up to Him. People will say things to you, but you will trust God. You will believe in the report of God. You will know you have a father who would care for you. You have lost both parents. You are an orphan. You know you still have the name of God. Even when you have been disowned, you know you still have the name of God. Sometimes we have family members who are in high places and we expect them to identify with us. And they are going to tell you, we don't know you. We don't want to identify with you. But when you trust God, you know it's a different it's a different feeling entirely. Because when they don't identify with you, you identify with the name of God. God will identify with you. And we give you a supernatural passage. So that more doors are open to you more than they are. Praise the Lord. Some people die with their name. Once they die, it dies with them. But we have a God whose name keeps living. He's alive. Every day, every minute, every second, generation to generation. The name is alive. It changes not. The name does not expire. So why don't you trust in this name? And stop brooding over someone that has said, Ah, we don't want to identify with you. I don't know you. We've seen cases like that. We've seen situations like that. You want to be in a place and they say, no, we don't want you. You cannot. You want to sing in the choir. They tell you, you cannot. You don't have, you don't have voice. We, we cannot identify with you. You cannot meet up to our standard. If you trust God, you are going to be in the congregation and one day you are going to simply open your voice to sing and the pastor is going to listen and hear your voice and is going to call you out and say, come and lead this congregation. That is the name of God. Because you have been identified with that name. Because pastor is going to be hearing that voice that is attached to the name of God. Stop thinking about what earthly names can do for you. You know the importance of this name, but you know that there is a name that is above every other name. When Moses was going back to Egypt, he said, when I get there, what do I say? Because he is an adopted child. They don't know the name of his parents. He cannot say, I'm the son of this and that. He can't even say, I'm an Israelite. And so when he got back to Egypt, he mentioned the name of God. He says, I am that I am. A mini tinge, a mini toto. That's what it means. And so that name opened the door because Pharaoh was wondering, the son of I am that I am. Did somebody else adopt him again? And so the name opens door. 
It's not the same kind of. It's not. It's not a name that uh, you need to actually trust in the potency of that name. If you don't get close to a door, you can't knock on it. And so, if you are going to carry the name of God around with you, make sure you are close to the door. The only way to be close to the door is to trust in the name you are carrying with you. That as I go to this place, as I go to get this contract. As I go to seek this admission, I carry the name of God. You have to understand the son of who you are. You have to understand who you truly are, where you are coming from. If you lose your identity, if you, if you fail to identify with the name of God, then that name will also fail to identify with you. And so when you press the button, it will not respond. But when you trust in the name and you apply it, you will get results. You will get results. I assure you, there are lots of people and lots of people, they are at a point in their life, they are tired of the world and the world is tired of them. Because they have a problem with who to identify with, what to identify with, with which direction to go, what to do, and all of that. But when you start trusting God and the name of God and you focus on it and you hold on to him, things will start turning around for your good. You will not be afraid of what people say. Some people are naysayers. Some people will say terrible things to you. Some people will make you disbelieve the name. They are, what are you carrying about? What name? That does not collect money from the bank. It's not going to help you to withdraw money from the bank. What name are you? You, you are here praying up and down. You have tried, you have knocked on this door severally with all the letters, with all the recommendation letters, all the signatures of this, of that, and nothing is happening. You have been to, every, in fact, you've spoken to every person that you can speak to. Still, nothing is happening. Come back inside and apply that name. Get back into your closet. Get back into your room. Apply the name and see if doors will not be open. See if your phone will not ring and they will not call you from the same place you have been knocking on the door. Sometimes the name you are applying is the wrong name. Because you think because this person is a popular person, the name is going to work for you. You get there, the person you are presented to is angry because you mentioned that name. Some names are bad news. So if you present the name, they are going to wonder, hey, this one doesn't even know that I hate this man or I hate this woman. But when you get back in your closet, ah, the name of God, <laughs> it doesn't matter whether maybe they want to align or not. The name of God is a compulsory name you have to bow to. It's a name that you have to listen to. It's compulsory. It's sovereign. I'm talking about the sovereignty of that name. It's not whether we like or not. In the world, we are able to choose. But when you are relating with God, there is no, you cannot choose. You can't say, God, I choose to worship you. Or I choose to bow down. Or I choose to respond to your letter. God writes a letter to you and then you say you, you want to choose. You want to think about it. You can't. So if you've been knocking that door... You have collected all the letters you want to collect of recommendation. Nothing is happening. Today, as I am speaking to you right now, get down on your knees. Talk to God. Speak to God and say, God, I apply your name. At the mention of your name, let this door be opened. It will be opened. It will be opened. Stop knocking on the wrong door with the wrong name. Knock on the right door with the name of God. Everyone understands that the name of God. So they just, everyone knows that name. Everybody is mentioning the name, but nobody is applying it. Application is what I am talking about. It's not because this name is scarce or is unpopular, but because I need more people to start applying that name wherever they are. In your closet, at your workplace, in the clinic, in the hospital, the doctor says this and you say it the other way around. Because I bear the mark of Christ. He says, let no man, let no demon trouble me. 